Hello everyone, my name is Jack A. Wanker, an ex-Treyarch associate. What I have to say to you today is actually extremely important, and you cannot speak a word of it to any of the Treyarch associates that are still part of that terrible company. I was part of the psychological department, the ones in charge of making the game interesting for uh, consumers and such, uh, for years. I've watched the game decline, and I, as well as many of you, can make the assumption that it's definitely not going to get any better than this. Black Ops 2 is successfully the worst Call of Duty, personally, and, of course, the best at being the absolute gayest. Black Ops 2 becomes more and more homosexual per update. It seems like we're, we're trying to adopt a more trolling view instead of a competitive one. For example, let's take the last update. Treyarch took all of the SMGs in the game, placed them in a large bowl, and urinated on them. Now they are insufferably weak and more fragile than a teenager's self-esteem. Players have turned to using the Evo, nicknamed the chode of David Vanderhaar. It is the very picture of spam and viral gameplay. The Evo fires a slew of rounds so fast your ammo stock will drop harder and faster than Lindsay Lohan's career. It is no doubt responsible for the massive amount of host migrations in the game. Using this weapon will keep you alive, people. Feel free to spam it down the throats of your enemies. Forgive me if that sounds gay. It's meant to be. I've gathered a few tips that I'm sure will be helpful in helping you survive the Treyarch apocalypse. <laughs> So first, let's take a look at the uh, trolling weapons as far as this week. Why should you care about your KD and not run around with the launcher? Everyone else runs around with the launcher, so, I mean, let's do it too. I mean, I found boosters here. Let's run around with the launcher. Let's ruin our KDs. No one really cares about it anymore, apparently, after the last update, so let's just, let's just yellow it. Yellow it. Now, let's not forget about the uh, shotgun here. Um, everyone likes to use a shotgun every now and then, but there are some of those people who just don't seem to realize that you can actually use different guns. Um, they uh, seem to be stuck on the fact that perhaps there's only one gun available that they can use. Um, I've messaged several of them to alert them that there is more than one class available. Um, perhaps they're just those kinds of, you know, hunters. Maybe they're all hunters and, and they like to use uh, hunting weapons. Well, uh, of course, that's fine and dandy here, but we're in the middle of a bloody war and you're running around with a bloody shotgun. Um, this is definitely recommended though. Now that there are updates and now that Treyarch has successfully made this the worst game possible, I suggest you get a shotgun and run around with it 24-7. I suggest you get a shotgun in real life and run around with it 24-7. I'm sure David Vanderhaar does. Um, that might not be a good thing as far as his standards, but um, we'll let the general public go ahead and be the ones to decide um, what he does with his guns. <coughs> Obama. Now let's talk about the Bouncing Betty 101. There are several types of Bouncing Betty users, and we're going to cover them all in time, but let's just talk about the camper who uses the Bouncing Betty to watch his back. This is the most common of them all, and I'm sure all of us have done it at one time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this look good. This look like a good place to hold up. Hold on, let me put down the Bouncing Betty, though, so I can be invincible. Yeah, they ain't, they ain't gonna get me now. They ain't gonna sneak me now. Of course, there are those persons who are completely confused. They, they set their Bouncing Betty down, and they sit and they stare at it, defeating the purpose entirely. Yeah, this uh, this looks like a good place. Let me set that down. Yeah, you ain't going nowhere. I'm keeping my eye on you, you little bastard. Another form of absolutely terrible and unneeded technology is the target finder, which helps you aim in without even doing any work whatsoever. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh my goodness, look. Look, I'm getting them. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at that, look at- Oh wow, I didn't even see him! Oh, I'm just uh, standing here, uh, 
Is, uh, is there anybody here? Is there anybody here? Oh, snap, I thought I heard something. Oh, no, 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 nobody's here. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not gonna look out this site, because I can't aim in without looking down the site. I gotta keep looking down the site. Oh, well, gotta keep looking down the site, gotta keep looking. So I'm gonna ask you all a question. What do you think is recommended if a person uses a target finder and a bouncing bed? Gotta keep looking down the site. So everyone, that concludes our whole How to Play Like a Faggot series for today. Um, really, I really just hope this wasn't a total waste of your time. Um, it is evolution. Because Treyarch is getting absolutely gay, Black Ops is getting gay, and in order to survive it, we must come together as a union and embrace the gayness that is inevitable. Until next time, I hope you guys can stick with us for our next episode coming out next week or so. Like, comment, and subscribe, and go tell your friends. Peace out then, people. I'm done.